Synthetic biology needs a way of making long, accurate DNA, and that's really difficult. It's difficult because when you synthesize DNA, you incorporate errors at the rate of about one in 200 bases. Evenetics takes a completely different approach to the synthesis of DNA. We begin by synthesizing short fragments using our thermal control technology, which we then assemble into much longer fragments using a process that detects errors in the synthesized fragments and therefore allows us to construct much longer fragments automatically than by any other method. We've built a diverse team of people here at Evenetics that spans molecular biology, synthetic chemistry and various different engineering disciplines. And really it's the combination of all of those disciplines that give the unique power to Evenetics technology. Evenetics' technology it rests crucially on this chip. It's a very specific chip with specific functionality. It has very stringent uh, thermal requirements and it needs to operate in very harsh conditions. We use a process called dielectrophoresis where special electrodes on the chip trap DNA using an oscillating electric field. And this severely counters the effect of diffusion and therefore minimizes losses as we transport the DNA. But otherwise, our surface chemistry team provides specialized protective coatings on specific parts of the chip to protect electrodes from degradation. The biggest challenge of achieving thermally controlled synthesis on the chip has been incorporating the thermally controlled step into the phosphoramidite cycle. So what we did was to design a whole range of five prime protecting groups in a rational way so that we could try and build in lots of different analogues for testing uh, different protecting groups. During oligosynthesis we used the difference in temperature at the hot and cold reaction sites to determine whether or not a base adds at each of those reaction sites. A high level of thermal control gives a low error rate since the chance of a base adding at a cold site when it shouldn't is very low. The Vonetics platform is agnostic to whether the DNA synthesis is chemical or enzymatic. But the enzymatic approach has certain advantages compared to the phosphoramidite uh, chemistry because it operates under milder aqueous conditions. So eventually we will transition from the chemical to the enzymatic DNA synthesis approach. Recently, we have achieved our first proof of concept for the enzymatic DNA synthesis using our proprietary modified nucleotides and engineered enzymes. One of the early challenges we had in the engineering team was the need to be able to demonstrate that we could achieve virtual thermal wells uh, within the same flow cell. To that end, we produced an experimental platform prototype, uh, which is capable of both thermal and fluidic control. We then, through the use of fluorescent dyes and a fluorescent microscope, were able to capture uh, the cloud of heat above each individual site and demonstrate that it stayed just above that site. And so DNA can be combined in a near infinite number of varieties. So the approach we've chosen to take is to use machine learning, whereby we capture uh, the behaviour of a subset of DNA with the purpose of then training an algorithm such that it can predict for any arbitrary DNA what its behaviour will be. It's taken five years to get from the start, the, the basic idea, to where we are now, but we've just hit the first milestone of demonstrating that we really can synthesise DNA on the surfaces of our chip using thermal control. Evenetics' ability to innovate with novel silicon processes has been aided by our strategic partnerships IMEC has helped us with development of our MEMS process and Analog Devices has helped us with our ASIC design. We are developing semiconductor-based consumable products for cellular and molecular biology industries. A few years ago, we identified DNA synthesis application as an area of an interest and decided to explore it. We couldn't ask for a better partner than Evonetics. Uh, we truly believe that Evonetics' uh, novel approach to de novo uh, gene lens DNA synthesis will revolutionize the industry. It will make uh, DNA, uh, customized DNA synthesis easily accessible, uh, will build uh, genes uh, with much faster turnaround time and greater accuracy. And uh, like in so many industries before, uh, silicon technologies will play a major role in enabling uh, biological solutions of tomorrow. Synthetic biology has the potential to revolutionise all sorts of industries, from pharmaceuticals to petrochemicals. But the key to making this happen is having long, accurate strands of DNA, and Evenetics have the 
key to unlock that need. It's really this melting pot of people with completely different, vastly varying expertise, and we're pushing hard at the engineering limits. In essence, we're making a tool that's going to go into the hands of researchers, and I don't think we can even begin to imagine what they can do with it. I mean, we've already talked about some of the applications, but there's probably going to be so many more that have yet to be even dreamed of.